I've got a comment about the article I read in today's Telegraph in relation to poor Steve Price. Apparently he's been offended. Well, someone with half a brain has decided to start a petition and uh, ask the project on Channel 10 to apologise to Steve Price. Uh, the fact is that uh, Steve Price is a veteran journalist who's been around a long time and he's got a thick skin and for someone, someone with a pea brain thinks that they've been offended and they expect that um, the uh, project um, apologise to Steve Price. I cannot believe what I read and I cannot believe that people put themselves out there to make themselves look like idiots and have a petition and then, then you've got what 30,000 people that signed this petition to say we demand the project uh, uh, apologise to um, Steve Price. Look, don't think for half a second that Steve Price would have let it slip. If Steve Price was offended, he would have told that little girl, listen here, lady, pull your head in, you're out of line, and you've got no idea what you're saying. But he didn't say that. He just said what he said, and uh, what's her name? Kerry Bickmore, she wanted to uh, save the situation. Well, Kerry... Mind your own business. There was an, argu an argument or disagreement between two grown adults and they don't need someone like you to come in and tell them uh, what to do. So as for the article about a petition, uh, that's, uh, that's just uh, ridiculous, uh, embarrassing, and believe me, Steve Price doesn't need it. I like Steve Price. I like what he says. I think the project is a great show. I like the format. I like a little bit of comedy. And I think that um, it has got a good future. And it has got a good future because of the mix of people that it has. So much so that Channel 9 are now going to copy it. So that's what they're going to do because a current affair has become absolute boring. And uh, Tracy, I mean, good on you, Tracy. You've been around a long time. And that's just great, you know. But look, when I see you, it just reminds me of an old stripper. At some point, someone knocks, has to tap you on the shoulder and say, sweetie, get your gear on, you're off. And that's what someone needs to say to um, uh, Tracy. She's been terrific, but who wants to see an old stripper swing around a pole? I don't, and so nor does anyone else. That's the analogy which makes sense to me and makes sense to every normal red-blooded Australian out there. Now, as for this petition to save um, face, it's stupid. Just let it go. By the way, Steve Price was never contacted by anyone to find out whether he was or whether he was not offended. My guess is that he wasn't, uh, and I think it's uh, silly that someone actually decides that Steve Price deserves an apology. When is this nonsense going to end? I know it's rubbish, they put it on the, uh, on the newspaper for people to read, but there are some people that take things seriously. Two adults were disagreeing, end of story. There were no punches thrown, there was no glasses of wine or water thrown at each other, there was no one called any dirty names, they just disagreed. The fact is that what Steve Price said was accurate, and that's why this little girl has got upset, followed by the other little girl that came to her defence. What Steve Price said, Donald Trump won because of people like her telling her or telling them what to think and ignoring the true issues. And that's what Donald, Donald Trump was saying. Enough's enough. I'm the real deal. Vote for me. With Hillary, she was just lying through her teeth I mean, honestly, talk about um, standing up for for, for 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 rights. I mean, <laughs> look, it's laughable. I, I just cannot believe that the half of America voted for this woman. What a shocking candidate. Simple. I mean, honestly, would you like for her to be your mother? And would you be proud of it? There you are. That's exactly what I think too.